So the project is called the Service Enhancement Plans and it was an effort to kind of get an idea from the region how people wanted to see the transit system grow uh, over the next 20 years or so. And so we did extensive outreach in the community but it, um, we had a, a difficult time uh, reaching harder to reach populations and so um, we partnered with community-based organizations. Instead of treating their advocacy groups as typical stakeholders that are separate, we have been able to bring them into the process, treat them as partners in the outreach, compensate them, have them really serve as the arm of the project to bring people in and help facilitate that process. And so we were looking for community organizations that serve Latino populations, Vietnamese and Chinese populations, among others. So we contracted them, we paid, basically compensated them for their time to help co-design and co-facilitate the workshops and then also recruit me uh, community members to come to the workshops. It was important just to partner with the CBOs because um, they know the community best and they have the best connections to um, the communities they serve and they really know the nuances of how best to communicate and conduct meetings. What I observed was the most beneficial out of this effort was the relationships that we built because we're trying is constantly looking for community voice in some of the projects we're leading. So it's something we can continue to go to them and, and ask for their input on. It's really important to make sure that they feel comfortable and safe and understand that how important that their feedback is to these projects. This kind of work uh, puts a very personal face on the customer that we don't get to see. Oftentimes we're looking at numbers and we're making those decisions uh, from say a 10,000 foot level. And this allowed us to have really more personal one-on-one -on -one interaction with the customers uh, and really understand how they use the service on a daily basis. It felt more comfortable and welcoming, I thought, because I guess one, there was like food involved and it kind of offered, um, created this environment for people to get to know each other and interact more instead of just getting right to business. It was also a success for TriMed in that um, it's helped kind of change the way we go about doing things. Since then, we have had other outreach in which uh, we make uh, an extra effort to reach out to communities of color and uh, uh, lower income communities. But I think hearing it directly from the communities that need it the most sends a really strong message. TriMet's been an excellent partner in this and really open to innovative approaches, but it's something that is really spreading and becoming more commonplace in our region and we are all better for it. And I believe our decisions are better for it. Mm -hmm.